Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from uh, April 10th to the 16th of 2023, but it could also be timeless, meaning that whenever you come here to see the video will be the right time for you. So welcome to my humble home and let's have a session together. So this is like having a session with me. You're sitting across the table with me. Maybe you're having something to eat, you're nibbling on something, or you're having something to drink. And uh, so let's get into this reading. And so we're going to start out with your challenge, okay, Virgos, uh, to see what is your challenge of the week or whenever you get to see this. Now, anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. <laughs> if the reading resonates, you claim it. If not, look at your other placements. In the reading, you take what's yours and let the rest go. Feel free to swap the energies around. And cuspers and cross watchers are welcome to the reading. I will purge this reading out. And when I say that, what I mean is that right now I'm going to start out with a lot of oracle cards at the beginning. Then we'll get into your reading, clarify, and then at the end, I will purge out everything that I need to purge out for all of you Virgos out there. Even if one of the messages is yours, will be yours. Okay? So let's look at the challenge. Thank you for all being here. Really appreciate it, Virgo. Let's look at what, oh, the card went flying. Okay, you got balance needed in your relationships. Now, that doesn't mean about love only. It could be friendship, coworkers, family. Okay, so balance is needed. Make sure all of your relationships are equal and balanced with giving and receiving. If they are out of rhythm, then the other is sacrificing and cannot and can't sustain itself. Therefore, it will create more obstacles to overcome. Know you are worthy and, des and deserve respect in all ways, okay? And underneath, you got letting go and resistance. It says the cycle has ended and it's time to let go to experience new growth. It is vital to have closure and gratitude for the situation to make room for new things to enter. Go within to find what is holding you back. Change is necessary in this situation. Now we're going to look at the solution. For Virgo, what is the solution for Virgo? What is needed? Okay. Taking the leap, courage, leap of faith. You have to let go of something good to get something right. Taking the leap into the unknown can be scary, but you are being called to have faith in yourself and the universe. If you want to experience the next level of success, you cannot stay comfortable. Enjoy the journey. Okay. Underneath you have radiant goddess and it's about acceptance. You are an amazing goddess ready to fully understand how significant you are. Tap into your power by owning your beauty and potential by not making any apologies for it. Okay, acceptance. Now we're going to look at uh, the numerology and also uh, back from popular demand and also the crystals. So we're going to look with, first with the crystals. And see what is the crystal that you need for this week or for as long as you need it. What crystal does Virgo need from April 10th to the 16th or for as long as they need it? What crystal is needed? Hematite. Yep, you need to stay grounded. Hematite. You got number 26. So I'm just going to take out the properties. If there's anything else I need to say, I will say. This is about becoming grounded, getting back to the earth, practicality and centeredness, balance and calm. You know, Virgo, you guys love to be in nature, near the river, near in nature. Okay, so let's see here what I could say about this for you. In all your financial and business dealings, be authentic and down to earth. Dreaming is good. It helps you to be creative and enthusiastic, but you also need to have a firm foundation for building wealth and sustaining the prosperity you desire. Hematite spirit message to you. 
regarding wealth and money is to be practical today. Go over your paperwork, check your investments, pay what you owe, and be respectful of the riches that come to you. Take a moment to feel grateful for all that you have and for the help of Hematite Spirit with its energy of groundedness in maintaining your prosperity so you can enjoy it for a long time to come. Okay, so Hematite, beautiful. Now, let's see the numerology. My hair, I don't know what's going on in my hair this week, but it's not behaving whatsoever. <laughs> Just going whatever it wants to go. Your numerology is number 88, 88. And I am wealthy, I am wealthy, and I am wealthy, and so it is. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all which bring financial and material uh, abundance into your life. So you got number 88, that's amazing. And now we're gonna take out also a numerology card for you. Oh, there's a song that's coming into my head. I know it's from a movie. Okay, <laughs> it's from a mo it's it's an old movie, probably an '80s or '90s movie. I'm not sure. No, not 80s, maybe 90s. Okay, just went away. Uh, I'm gonna, th um, it's a theme of the movie. I think it has to do with Dirty Dancing. Is someone listening to that song? Um, not Hungry Eyes, the other song. It's a slow song, okay. Okay guys, I don't know, it's just coming into my head. It's like, it's it's there. Hungry eyes? No, it's not hungry eyes. Yes, it's hungry eyes. <laughs> it is. There's a song there. I don't know if someone needs to hear this song, okay? Hungry eyes. Okay, so you have the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone. That's exactly what the uh, taking the leap of faith means over here, okay? You have to, uh, no, is it not, is, is it this one? No, it's the, yeah, it's this one. You have to experience the next level of success. You cannot stay comfortable. Enjoy the journey. Uh, you got number 88, the number, and it's about step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. Okay, and then it says you're decimating moon. Take time to breathe out in nature. Take time to breathe out. Meditate, be in nature. That's going to help you a lot, okay? And before we get started, I'm just going to take out a f uh, just two cards from the Lover's Oracle as well. I do need a larger desk. What do you think? I had got a new desk, but then I didn't like it. I don't know. It was good, but the, like I want, I, 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 need, I, I think I need to custom made one. I, I need to make one custom made. That's what I think. Yeah, I need more space. Okay. You have two cards that fell out. You have this one here, which is the first card, and I'm going to read it to you. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. The next one here is this one. It says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Hermit mood. So in the hermit, being a hermit. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to get started with your reading. Yes, we are. Okay. So how this reading will go, Virgo, is that the first row will be about you. Okay. The second row will be about the energy attached to you. And the third row will be about the conclusion. Now, if you feel that the first row is not about you and you feel that you're more connected to the second or third, take what's yours. Okay. Whatever. Just swap everything around. 
but I normally put the first row about you, okay? So, six shuffles. put my coffee there cheers I love coffee how many coffees do you guys have a day for those of you that love coffee or tea I have let's say one in the morning if I step out of the house I'll have a second one then I'll have in the evening and then when I'm doing my so sometimes Three to, three, three to four. Oh boy, not too many cards fell. So, um, Queen of Swords River. Oh, no. I'm not going to take these cards because they fell. You want me to tell you what it is? I got the King of Swords reversed, uh, Queen of Swords reversed, the Five of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Something is being tested here. The Queen of Wands, the Death, Transformation, and Temperance. Okay, healing. Okay, let's get started. Okay. There we go. Ace of Wands, beautiful. The Magician, the Strength, wow. Eight of Cups. You walked away from something, or you will be walking away from something. Walking away from people or situations that took the life out of you or that drained you completely. You had to go through a lot of tests and tribulations and trials here. And so you are walking away from, you're going towards your goal. You're, you're going towards your, your, you're going, you're walking towards your manifestation and what you truly desire. Okay. You, you got the Ace of Wands. There's a new start here. Could be a new person coming in for you. Now, this can be about anything, okay? It doesn't have to be about just love. It can be about, you know, um, friendship, relationships, whatever this is, family, your community, world at large, or this is all you're reading. You've been manifesting, and there's a new passionate love for love, for life. This is something could be chemistry, could be uh, going to the next level and getting engaged. There's a lot of passion. This also talks about creativity as well, okay? And it's going to... It, it, it took a lot of toll of you to do this, a lot of strength to go through this, okay? But you have, you built a lot of confidence here and you tamed something within yourself or healed something within yourself. It's really nice to see that, okay? You're walking away from pa the past. Some of you are walking away from past or traditions or belief systems that were not, that no longer serve you. You're thinking things differently in the way you're seeing things, okay? So let's look at the energy attached to you. Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Two of Swords. <laughs> the Devil. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, it doesn't have to be. This could be also Saturn and Jupiter because Saturn and Jupiter this week, I think this week are they're doing a lot of things in the planetary. Okay, you will need time to rest with Jupiter and Saturn coming together here. Yeah, something is being tested or something that you have to redo again, but it's going to be different because Jupiter is here to expand something here for you. Okay, something that's faded, and it's going to be a time to rest. A lot of you has to do with financial security. Because you've been working very hard, Virgo. And you know that. All right. Oh, okay. So what I see here is that you're reevaluating everything. And good things take time. And you say, oh, really? Yeah. No, I don't want to hear that. But yeah, but it's true. Was Rome built in one day? No. You know, my mom always kept telling me that. Not because I used to never rush into things. But my brothers, I had a brother that always wanted to rush into doing this, doing that, and doing and uh, you know and so my mom i would always hear my mom saying to my brother good things take time good things take time just w work hard you know what and god universe 
uh, will uh, give to you. So whatever it is that you've been planting, whatever that you've been putting a lot of work into, okay, you've been very patient, okay, cultivating something here. You're, 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 you're making a review. There's a review you're going on with maybe your money or just in general your life and you're at crossroads. But there will be harvest. There will be some type of communication that's going to be coming in or it could be also great ideas. A lot of great ideas are taking place maybe in this situation, okay? Uh, epiphany, like just like uh, great ideas coming in. Um, seeing things uh, in a different way, seeing and, and uh, speaking in a different way. This could be a, some type of online communication about something that's coming in. There's a lot of reevaluating because something that you've been waiting for, but at the same time, there's a decision that has to be made with the two of, wand, uh, the two of swords. Okay, so there's a decision here. Definitely. Okay, let's look at the conclusion. Three of coins, nice. Ace of cups, oh my God. Five of swords, of course. Nine of swords. There's a, there's a communication that's coming in here for you from your past. It could be friends, okay, or a reunion of some sort. There could be an offer that's coming in on the table. There could be celebrations towards this. So there is good news coming in. And remember I told you that in I think last week's reading that there could be a meeting or someone coming in doesn't mean if it hasn't happened yet, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. But definitely that there is someone coming in with an offer at the table. Okay. Um, yeah, there's definitely a love message or an offer here. And it could be a reunion and a lot of celebration taking place. But let's look at this. Okay. So you've got the three of pentacles, the ace of wands, the five of swords. There's triumph here. Triumph. The five of swords usually talks about people not having your back. Okay, but that's not what I'm seeing in these cards because these cards are different than other cards. Okay, um, so there's abundance. There's a new beginning taking place in love. Okay, uh, you know, you're feeling overwhelmed. Celebrations taking place. Very peaceful energy. The Three of Pentacles. Uh, it's a strong foundation. Could be three people working together or just people working together or people. It could be around work. There's a lot of abundance at work or in what you're working towards. And... Yeah, there's decisions that you had to do. Decisions along the line. You had to cut through a lot. Cut through paperwork. Cut, cut, cut. Shortcuts. Short. I hit, I see a lot of shortcuts in between. You know, cut, cut, cut. I don't know. I just see that. And it's like you have the victory. You have the sword and you have the victory there. Okay? There's a breakthrough. Okay? So this is very beautiful. I'm very happy to see this for you. All right? Okay. So now we're going to clarify the cards. Shall we? Let's clarify. Okay. So let's clarify. We're going to clarify the Knight of Swords, okay, in the overall. Quick communication coming in. What's this communication about? Four coins in a few weeks. Two of coins reversed and a wands. Yeah, there's definitely communication, communication, communication coming in. Okay. There could be more than one communication coming in. There's someone watching you online or someone that's watching maybe your, what you're doing online. There could be some type of offer online. Okay. Timing, they say in a few weeks, they want you to let go of control, let go of whatever it is that you've been manifesting. Let it come to you. Okay. It's a time of letting go. It's a time to celebrate life or have fun. This could also happen in the summertime as well. Uh, there's something here that you need to release again i know i said this before but it shows me that you need to release okay let go of patterns limiting beliefs or something that you need to let go of okay in this situation with the two of coins of course also talks about that 
you know, um, maybe at this time you're going to be feeling whatever this message or messages that are going to be coming in, you might feel overwhelmed. You might be scared that you're going to be making poor choices. Okay. But you need to plan and execute things you know, day by day. Okay. Uh, because there will be, uh, maybe you're going to be going back and forth in a situation or trying to juggle, you know? Uh, so maybe you need to drop something to concentrate on one thing for some of you. And, uh, they want you to choose your battles wisely. Again, the, the word overwhelming keeps coming to me. You're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to feel overwhelmed. Okay. Uh, so that's why, you know, take time to breathe out. Okay and go into nature, meditate, or do whatever that you like to do to, you know, that you could feel calm inside, okay? Um, because uh, it's almost like some of you will need to retreat, okay? And with the Page of Swords, again, it said there, there is definitely uh, ideas, okay? Uh, communication coming in and fairness, okay? It could be some of you, could be a, about a school thing. It doesn't have to be about school, uh, but definitely there is like a lot of uh, information that's gonna be coming in Okay, because you got the Page of Swords and you got the Knight of Swords coming in, right? Let's look at your reading. You, you know, you have, I, I don't even, okay. So I don't even want to, oh, I don't even touch the reading yet and right away. <laughs> okay, Saturn. Okay, Saturn is like very strong in your reading. You got the star with the, with the, with the, with the Ace of Wands, okay, uh, which is a wish that's being granted to you. It's about faith and co uh, calmness. Uh, there's a lot of healing in this, okay, and there is renewal, okay, definitely. Inspiration. You got the devil. There's probably strings attached to something and, or things that still grip you that you're trying to release with the Four Pentacles and the Devil card, okay. Uh, could be anything here, okay, or just restriction. It could be any type of addiction. It doesn't have to. It could be also your shadow self that you're trying to... There is healing that's going to take place with your shadow self, okay? There's a new beginning that's taking place here for you, okay? With the, uh, with the Ace of Wands. And there will be two paths that you will have to choose from with the Two of Wands. From the one, you went to the two. Okay, so there's opportunities, okay? It's about vis visualizing it. It's, they're asking you to get ready, okay? That's all they're saying, okay? Because all of you have to do future planning and it's you need to consider all your options because there's, this, there's decisions that you will have to do, okay? Let's look at the magician. You got the lovers reversed, the ten of swords and the high priestess. Okay, whatever it was, if there was a disaccord, okay, with any person in your life, okay, or well, maybe you were imbalanced, okay, if you were alone, or you felt disconnected or imbalanced, or you had trust issues in a situation, there's an ending of a final chapter here, okay? It's an ending of a, ch there's a final chapter, there's an ending, okay, uh, that is taking place in your life, or there was some type of ending. You're manifesting something to come in for you, some type of union or something, whatever that you're manifesting, there's definitely something you're trying to, and there will be a shift, okay, in the outcome. Yes, there will be a shift. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, for some of you, there could be a, reg a regeneration of it, any type of relationship in your life that you want, okay, or a comeback or a reconcile, okay, and uh, repairing it. And this is about trusting your intuition, okay? There will be a harmony will be resolved in a situation if there was a conflict within you, around you, in your family, in work, whatever. There's it's about you know there will be harmony and solutions and finding common ground. Let's look at the strength card. The hangman, the waning moon, three to four weeks. Reevaluate re your plans. You're, you're gaining wisdom here. It's all about new perspective. This card, the waning moon with the hangman. Have patience and the page of coins reversed. Yeah, it's about learning from the... Okay, so, so it's about learning from your past mistakes or from some type of uh, past mistake here. Someone, maybe you didn't follow through or someone did not follow through here. Okay, maybe there was... Uh, you know, you know, some type of procrastination that took place. And what they're asking you to do is to 
look at things from a different perspective you will get a haha moment okay you will you're going through an awakening at this time uh, maybe you're gonna have an epiphany but you are definitely gonna be releasing here letting go and allowing things to come in definitely a hundred percent is coming in and now with the pink moon that's coming in it's even beautiful because there's gonna be an emotional awareness that you will have okay and a, a cycle that's completing for you to go to the next one now let's look at the energy attached to you you got the seven of coins so let's look at the seven of coins you got the emperor aries the eight of wands the lunar eclipse the eight of pentacles reversed the eight of swords 88 and the nine of coins yeah you've been working hard here or wherever this is whatever the energy is attached to if this is someone that's attached to you someone here that's been putting a lot of hard work in, in towards themselves i also see someone going through a raise uh maybe by working with someone working on your own and working in a company let's say making up your own like let's say if you are self-employed okay i do see that coming in for you okay this is about action being it's, it's the emperor energy is like planning ahead it's about uh you know uh, the establishment okay it can be divine masculine too as well uh it's about getting things done it's about authority stability the leadership energy okay it's about taking leadership i do see there's freedom here and fulfillment and also abundance around you from the seven you went to the nine to the emperor things are going to take off very quickly okay swift progress is going to be made in the energy attached to you alignment communication things are going to take off okay movement and could also be traveling here in the lunar eclipse that's coming in okay uh new it's going to be you're going to see things very clearly okay you're not going to be you know like what's going on here there's going to be a new emotional cycle this is endings and the divine aid is coming in okay you uh, with the eight of uh, swords upright and the eight of coins reversed here there's something that was mm, you were always feeling stuck okay or maybe in your head about a situation okay um this is how you were seeing things or the person was seeing things because uh, this is someone here that is uh was always working and they were not they weren't doing anything else they weren't that's not balanced if you think that working all the time is how you keep balance in your life it isn't you know you can't all work and no play right something that was not delivering here but things are going to take a shift right away for you let's look at the page of swords because you got it twice in your reading this is a thirst for knowledge or wanting more okay definitely here there is some type of communication online great ideas taking place being curious a lot of ideas like i said fairness you got the seven of cups the world the four of wands yes yeah, someone's returning home there's a new beginning could be someone coming back or a lover returns or some type of unite it could be a party uh strong it could be a celebration that's taking place uh um it could be a wedding at less interference or someone moving in it doesn't matter it could be community support uh, where where that things were unclear there was confusion what's taking place is with the page of swords and this whatever communication that's going to come in there will be uh focus action seeing things clearly and making seeing a choice and being very decisive here uh, with the world card okay definitely here with the world card it's about an end, end of a chapter so you're going to the next level so congratulations there's achievement, success, sense of belonging, accomplishment, integration, wholeness, fulfillment, and of course, travel. And underneath, you got the fool. So there is definitely a new beginning taking place. It is an opportunity. Yes, it's in the unknown. I, yes, I understand it's scary, but it's beautiful to see. Let's look at the two of swords here. Why is the two of swords here? Someone's in their head. The full moon the pink moon is coming in that's where you're gonna get uh it could be the next full moon okay emotional awareness okay the six of cups reversed and temperance reversed strength took you a lot of strength to go through something the king of coins someone that's that's strong sense of self-worth financially stable someone that's very hard working okay very grounded and uh secure and stable um 
you know, with the Six of Cups or the Two of Swords, if someone here is revisiting the past, there's memories of the past, someone is returning from the past here, okay? And uh, yeah, there was a situation that whoever you were dealing with in the energy that was a lot of impatience, whether it was you or someone, or there was someone here that was imbalanced, okay? Um, that took place. But with the Strength card, it talks about there's an invisible force here that's taking place. Uh, Self-belief, confidence, compassion, um, a lot of wisdom and taking back your power. So someone is taking back their power now. They have the strength. The King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, someone that's emotionally balanced, kind-hearted, understanding, highly intuitive. They're very diplomatic, artistic, psychic, okay, in energy, very strong in energy. Anything else here for the Queen of Coins? Someone that's nurturing themselves. Again, King and Queen of Pentacles are here. Okay, someone that is grounded, uh, detailed, caring, uh, business savvy, prosperous. You got that, all right? Now let's look at the Three of Pentacles. The Four of Cups reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. Yeah, the Ace of Wands again. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands here. Yeah, definitely new start of passion for love, for life, okay, it could be an attraction, go for it, they're saying this could be about business, it's also about igniting desire, there could be an engagement, chemistry, fertility, okay, whatever it is, it's a passionate start that's taking place with a strong stability, and someone here that maybe was not emotionally aval available before, or, or they were imbalanced here, this is someone that is coming in emotionally connected, okay, be going with the flow, deep feelings, very empathic, okay, also very intuitive, psychic, and loving. And with the Four of Cups reversed, there's self-awareness. Didn't you get the awareness card? Or was not you, maybe? Wait, maybe that was uh, Leo. Could it be? Let me see. No, it was you. Acceptance, awareness. Okay, so this is about uh, something that's uh, uh, proactive. It's, it's, there's a re-engagement that's taking place. Enthusiasm for life again. Having gratitude and uh you know it could be anything here okay but definitely something beautiful is taking place with the queen of swords okay who's uh, mentally strong someone that's chatty they have a lot of inner strength they're very quirky and sharp and fair let's look at this ace of cups why is this ace of cups here so yeah it looks pretty good whether if this is finances this is love your community world at large whatever it is it's really really nice to see okay okay let's look at the ace of cups the death reversed, the three of cups, yeah, and the page of wands reversed with the tower. Uh, there was there was some type of tower that took place, okay? Something that maybe shocked someone. There could have been um, some, uh, some type of revelation or something that was sudden or some type of chaos in the past, okay? And someone had to work through the ace of cups energy, self-love, self-care, right? This is abundance. For me, the ace of cups represents abundance, Someone here is going through an eternal change within themselves, okay? This is about metamorphosis, okay? Clear and purge, transformation, and then there's emerging, rebirth, and regenerate. Yes, there is celebration, okay? There is social gatherings, party, good times, reunion, friendship. could also be collaborative, uh, artistic pursuits. And it's about finding a new path. Now, when people say finding a new path, it doesn't mean, let's say if you've been through, I don't know, with friendships or family situations where, you know, you've been through a lot of hard stuff, okay, and you're out of ideas. You, you there's, there's been maybe hasty, deci hasty decisions or that were made. And then you take a break and then you come back to it and you say, okay, well, I tried this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Now, which other way could I try again? Well, there is an energy redirect here and it's about finding a new path. Maybe in how, uh, in, in how to communicate and how to do things, right? Mm -hmm. Let's look at the Five of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Coins again, and the Two of, Coin, uh, the two of Swords, and the Four of Swords, okay? Uh, yeah, Two of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords. Oh boy, this is very nice. Okay, I'm going to show you the cards. Well, I'll show you. I'm going to tell you about the cards. Okay, so yeah, good things take time. There's been a lot of challenges in this situation that you had to go through. It was beyond your control. 
whatever happened in whatever you dealt with virgo was or the, whatever whoever the energies that in it was out of it was beyond your control okay this was karmic lessons it, it was uh external forces um and uh but the wheel of fortune the way when even when it's reversed it, it's just, there's a turning point and there's a big push they're going to try to push you forward and yes good things take time okay you've been persevering uh, long-term views you've been having in the situation or someone here someone has been patient and yes something will come to harvest uh yes it's a normal you're frozen there could be someone here that's frozen with indecision maybe there was foul play at one point maybe there was backstabbing maybe there was gossip maybe there was like you know things that were said in a situation all right um but whatever happened here someone had to isolate they had to it was a time that they couldn't take action right so they took a break there was a whole healing okay that took place in this situation uh whatever this was with the two of cups here where maybe there was um, uh, something that was enabling or some type of codependency with the two of cups reversed but it's coming in okay there is an overflow again the ace of cups shows up twice this is about romantic success success this could be about a new romance it's about flowing emotion this is it okay it could be also new or you know past tense because you have new and past tense six of swords uh i see traveling here someone may be traveling to you you may be traveling to someone or you're going through a transition better times are coming ahead conflicts will be reserved uh resolved reserves <laughs> i meant resolved in all your situations that you're going through things are going to become stable restoration and peace is going to take place there will be a new beginning okay again setting out being spontaneous being adventurous there's a lot of potential opportunity in the unknown okay there will be there will be maybe th some of you are thinking okay but it's not going to work out yeah it is because this is about victory it's about being recognized there's success here and it's going to give you a confidence boost or you're going to go through a milestone uh, prepare for change in a few months okay um express always gratitude for everything that you have because there's harvest coming in and with the six of coins okay it's about giving and receiving uh there's balance there's kindness acceptance equal give and take okay and being valued all right very nice to see i'm very impressed i love your reading now we're gonna go through the purging of the reading it's always important to come like if you like the video it will be saved in your playlist and so what that happens is that the first time you read you see the video you'll get your information but then let's say in the weeks from now you watch it again you will get different information and if you watch it three times you'll get another type of information and sometimes all those informations from your rising sign to your moon sign to whatever uh you know planets that you uh you know you feel more drawn to will come to you're, you're gonna get more of your answer clearly but virgo you're on the cusp of something huge here something huge okay i'm very excited for you okay let's see that card comes off for everybody okay like okay you deserve love virgo you are lovable you deserve love you are uh, you are lovable let's see here what else this okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay love yourself first <laughs> this comes out for everybody so love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations it is safe for you to love Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This could be the one. You're romant you already met your romantic partner you seek. Okay, there is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Now, what is the next one? Oh, yes. Okay. Now I will take out also the evolution. See uh, what cards here come out for you. One. two three 
Virgo. You guys want half the deck? Seriously? I can't give you half the deck. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're funny, Virgo. Okay. One, two. Anything else for Virgo? Three. Okay, so first one you have is disorder. It says here, organ, this, maybe uh, at this time, you have a lot of things on your mind. So uh, something is dis uh, disrupting your peace at this time, or there's this dis dis or disorganization or chaos and turmoil. Maybe clashing personalities and disagreements are taking place at work. There may be some of you are going through difficult times. There's also trauma here, okay, which talks about past life influences and emotional triggers that are showing up for you. And there is healing and recovery, uh, unprocessed hurt and pain that might be coming up to the surface for the last purging, scars and unwounded, unhealed wounds. And then you have memories. Okay, uh, this is about reflecting um, on the past, holding on to uh, uh, experiences. It's uh, times with loved ones and trips down memory lane. Okay, let's see. I take out a few cards from this. Virgo, seriously, you guys want like after decks? <laughs> okay, wait. I'm going. Okay, getting there. Here we go. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, you're making me chase the cards tonight. They're all falling on the floor. Okay. Wow, that came with a thump. All right, let's see. Okay. Let me take all the cards. This is about timing and intentions. Okay. Timing and intentions. This journey is number three. This journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lessons. Patience. You also got number four in mission. It says here, just like you, I'm always doing some form of, of, of a mission. My energy and wisdom supports those around me. You got number three. So you did get number 33, romantic messages. You got, I feel the sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. Then you got another romantic message, number five. So you have three, four, five. I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. You got number eight, romantic messages. I never felt love like this before. The depth of it can be inspiring, but also overwhelming. You got number nine, which is all about growth. You got, I'm not going to give into fear. I know fear is only an illusion. You got two number 10s. So all about growth, number 10 talks about, I'm going through physical and emotional asc ascension symptoms. <clears throat> I need space to rest, but from a higher perspective and I'm releasing old energy. You also got number 10, mission. I always felt I had a higher calling in life and our connection brings, in, it brings me more clarity on it. And number 11, okay, messages of trust. Okay, it's I'm seeing synchronicities like your name or 1111 and working out what they mean. Okay, so that's good. Now, what else do I have for you? I know there's another deck I had to take out. Oh, yes, the hidden. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to do this one last. The hidden, the hidden <clears throat> truth oracle. For, and I'm going to take out some of these cards. for Virgo Ooh, okay paradise welcome to okay all right let's look at this together 
You got coffin, <clears throat> which is about uh, endings or uh, that brings new beginnings. There's growth, change, liberation, or transformation here. You got the axe, okay, which talks about breakups, uh, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. You also got stabbed in the back, heart, heart pain, heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack but that's not for everybody i shouldn't even read that part but just you know uh, people stabbing in the back here uh the golden mirror which talks about self-absorbed could be narcissistic energy one-sided relationship or someone that's love bombing you uh, you got uh kisses okay unconditionally loving giving and re receiving affection and falling in love you got the butterfly relationship evolving to the next level or phase healing the inner child and growth you got paradise okay uh happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other you got the phoenix rising from the ashes this is the new phase there could be a rekindle that's taking place uh renew transformation growth and changed mind there is a boat here receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues and twin flames which talks about yin yang uh zen balance union duality coupling and complementing each other okay now let's look at uh, last but not least the hidden truth and maybe there's a message that you're giving out to someone or there's someone that has to give you a message so let's see messages for Virgo okay is that it yep that's it I wish I could take back my words is one of the messages okay i am afraid to contact you sometimes i stay awake thinking about you i remember every detail of that day i feel you leaving me behind i want you we will be together again so virgo i hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like share and subscribe know that i have your back and i love you all and remember together we are one Together we are love and together we are light. Please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.